The true gospel of Jesus is not cheap. Jesus Christ requires all of you 100%. But the Christians and the pastors in the churches today are making a cheap, easy gospel. They say, just say a prayer. You'll go to heaven. Just pay your tithe. Just believe that you're saved. And they lie to hundreds and millions of people. And they're taking people to hell. They themselves are not saved because they're not daily denying themselves, taking up their cross. They haven't counted the cost. Remember that Jesus said, whoever of you does not forsake all that he has cannot be my disciple. Jesus also said that he who seeks to preserve his life will lose it. But he who loses his life for my sake and the gospel will save it. But the Christians and the churches are just making a cheap gospel. They have become like merchants selling merchandise, selling Bibles, selling curriculum. They sell their church as if it's a brand. And they think it's about being cool. But following Jesus is about listening to his voice, getting to know him for real, and surrendering to him every single day. I want to tell you this parable because it is a parable of Jesus, but I want you to see what Jesus was actually speaking about. The parable goes like this. There was a rich man and he had a manager to manage all of his money, all of his goods. And as it comes out, this manager is mismanaging his money, so he gets fired. The manager says, I don't have hands that can work with a shovel or with a pick. I can't work with my hands. You know, I'll get blisters. And then he says, I can't beg. I'll be ashamed. So what does the guy do? He says, I know what I'll do. I will go to all of those that owe my master money and say, hey, I know you owe 100, but just pay 50. I know you owe 100, but just give 80. Or in modern day times, I know you owe a hundred, but just give 10, give 10%, you'll be saved. So what happens at the end of the day is his master commends him, but his master does not commend him because he's done good in his kingdom, but because he's acted shrewdly like a serpent in the devil's kingdom, he is winning many souls to hell. If the children of God were half as prudent as the children of Satan, maybe they would hear the truth of God and really repent. Maybe they would really become productive. Maybe they would really start denying themselves and fishing for men for real. But because they're following this poor steward, they're all going to hell. This steward who just says to people, just pay 80, just pay 50, just pay 10. That represents a pastor or a Christian who has fallen from grace. He's been fired by God, but he thinks that he is still, he thinks he's still in business because he's going to his master's clients. And that is what many pastors as Christians are doing today. They don't tell people that God has fired them. They start churches and they go around telling people, hey, all you have to do is pay 10%, you'll be all right. Hey, all you have to do is repent 80% of the way, you'll, you'll be there, you'll make it into heaven. Or they say, you think, uh, you think that God requires that you actually stop sinning? Don't worry about it. As long as you're trying 50%, you'll be all right, you'll make it. So they lie to people about what repentance really means. And because people believe their lies as a lying steward, they take all of those people to hell. What if these guys repented? Or what if someone came out of this deception and started exposing it? Many people may come to God. Many people may really repent and receive the true gospel that isn't cheap. The pastors today have cheapened the gospel just like this guy in Luke chapter 16 did. 
This guy does not represent someone who is wise with money. He represents someone who is going behind his master's back and lying to people about how they can pay off the master. If God says you owe a hundred, you need to pay him a hundred. A hundred is a hundred percent of your life. Remember that Jesus said that whoever of you does not forsake all that he has, all is a hundred. He said, you cannot be my disciple. If you're only giving 80 or 50 or let alone 10, you will not enter the kingdom of God. You need to be serving God with everything that you have. I noticed today that the whole world is all about how good you look in the world. You know, how much money you make, how, that, how you're making it in the world, how you're providing. And it's really deceptive because a lot of Christians have fully bought into this principle of the world doing good to others, but only as far as it means doing business. They will never stand up for what Jesus really meant because they don't want to be ashamed for him. They don't want to offend people. And so they constantly lie to people. They don't have a real backbone. And they act just like the guy that Jesus spoke of in Luke chapter 16. That shrewd manager who told people that they could just give 10 or 50 or 80%. But that is cheapening the gospel. I encourage you to reject the easy, fake grace gospel. Reject the gospel that is coming out of the churches. That is, that you only have to give 10% or 50 or 80. Reject the false Christians in the false church. Reject the messages that come from the pulpit. Receive the truth of Jesus Christ. That is, count the cost. Start really praying. Listen to the Lord and obey every single word he speaks. Because after all, those who do not forsake all that they have will not enter the kingdom of God. Are you daily seeking after the Lord Jesus? Are you honoring him with everything? Or have you believed the pastors and the lying Christians that have cheapened the gospel to tickle the ears of its members? May the grace of Jesus be with those who truly repent and seek him.